Hi, my name is Apostle Mary Richardson, and I would like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hi, I want to have a conversation with you today about inner healing. Inner healing and deliverance is so needed for such a time as this. Inner healing is a process. It's a strategic process that is used to allow a person to deal with the hurt and the pain that one has incurred in life journey. Everybody in life has experienced some type of hurt or some type of traumatic experiences in our lives. If that pain is not dealt with in a proper manner, it can be it can go into the subconscious part of the mind as an incubator and it can live there it can thrive there and it can develop and cultivate itself into so many different negative behaviors and and on our journey as we try to move forward in life those behaviors can manifest in so many different type of personalities and so many type of behaviors that can actually hinder us and stagnate us in our journey so inner healing and deliverance is very, very necessary. You know, Apostle Paul reminds us in 1 Corinthians, the fourth chapter, he say, deal with nothing before the time. But when the Lord comes, he will bring judgment on all of the hurts and all of the pains that one has in occurred in that life journey. And so when the Lord shines the light on those areas, he takes it into the courtroom of Jesus Christ and he brings healing and deliverance so a person can forgive, so a person can heal, and a person can be set free. So inner healing and deliverance is the answer. Inner healing and deliverance is so, so necessary. You cannot build until you heal. And there are a lot of people, we try to build ministries, we try to build businesses, we try to build marriages, we try to build relationships. But guess what? Because the hurt and the pain of the past has not been properly dealt with, and has not been healed by the Lord, it finds a way to surface and it interrupts and intervene. It interfere with, with, with healthy relationships. It interfere with making healthy decisions in our lives that can cause us to progress and become successful in the journey. My experience with inner healing and deliverance, I needed it so bad because I came from a very dysfunctional background and we know that we were all born into sin. Everybody was born into sin. No, no person, no one was born saved. Everybody was born from the Adam nature. But because of being very dysfunctional from my background and from my upbringing, from my childhood, I experienced a lot of traumatic experiences. And there is no way I would be successful as I have become an overcomer in my walk with Christ without being healed and delivered from the pain of the past from the rejection from the insecurity you know from the you know life just life journey you know just damaging a person on your journey so i want to encourage you today to receive inner healing and deliverance begin to do your research do your homework how necessary inner healing and deliverance is apostle paul encourages us to be strengthened in the inner man that we may be able to receive and be able to comprehend what is the depth, what is the length, amen, what is the breadth of God that God wants to impart into our lives that will cause us to be activated, that we can move forward in our spiritual walk and become successful in everything that we do. Even David, David reminds us in Psalms 51, he says, I desire to know truth in the inward man that I might know God. So there's, I mean, you can actually be in this journey. You can actually walk this journey. You can actually be in this Christian journey and not even really, really experience or really know without even realizing or experiencing the, or having a true encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ so that you can become who he has called you to be, do what he has called you to do. And so David David had a heart after God and he wanted to know God, but he knew that his revelation was going to come. He knew that his experience and his intimacy were going to uh, come as a result of him being healed in the inner man, because this is where all the hurt is. This is where all of the pain is. 
It is a damaged, fragmented part of the soul man, the soul of the inner man that needs to be healed. So I want to invite you to go to my website, apostolicwomaniam.com and order that book today. Order that book today. It has a training manual in the back. It has an assessment in the back of the book that will allow you to even ask yourself some questions. You know, am I all, am I easily frustrated? Is it hard for me to forgive? Am I always playing the victim role? Am I always a victim of circumstances? You know, why am I not moving forward? It would actually cause you to look at your life, to examine your life, and to see, I know I should be further along in my walk with Christ. I should be making more progress than what I am making. And so you gotta ask yourself a question. Proverbs 14 and eight, a wise man seeks to understand himself, but a fool refused to face the fact. A fool will be in denial and says nothing is wrong with me and will cause the cycle, the patterns and the behaviors to continue for years and years. And a person will continue to go round and round and round in the wilderness and never ever become who Christ has called us to be. So I want to encourage you today, amen, to get inner healing and deliverance and be set free because you want to be. God bless you. This is Apostle Mary Richardson and be sure to subscribe, like, and comment to my YouTube channel. I'll be coming to you often, bringing you revelation, knowledge, and wisdom concerning inner healing and deliverance. So we want to have those conversations and if you want to be a part of those conversations and if you want to be strengthened from those conversations, amen, like, subscribe, and comment to my YouTube channel. God bless you and until the next time, you can, best, you can be set free if you want to be. God bless you.